Amy Fashion Toppings and AJ's Vintage Designs, and I'm trying out this paint today. It's from Dixie Belle, and it's in the color of collard greens, and I've already started it, I did one coat last night. I took out the drawer in it, and then um, I put some wood filler where the drawer hardware used to be, because I'm gonna replace it with a basket. So I'm gonna be doing this. So there'll be a basket in there instead of the drawer because the drawer was in bad shape and I didn't want to reuse it. And the drawer really dated this piece and so I want it more open. So you can see that it, I'm not really sanding anything. The, the sanding that you see here is just where I took out some of, there was some dents in the wood so I sanded back any of the dented areas uh, so I have a nice smooth finish. And I wanted to try the paint for the first time my, last night just so I can see how I liked it. And I have one coat on it, um, these areas. This I had to sand this morning. So I didn't paint in here. And um, I need to brush out any of the dust real quick. I washed it, or I cleaned it with a uh, crud cutter. I cleaned it with crud cutter. That's what I use on all my pieces before I start painting is crud cutter. I really love that stuff. It gets the grease, fingerprints, and all that stuff out. Right now I'm just getting my dust from sanding all this putty. And the putty that I use um, to fill in holes that's paintable is this DAP um, Alex Plus Spackling. Superior paintability, won't flash paint. Uh, won't flash paint and it won't shrink, and what, that's what I like about it. I put it on, and then when I come back the next day, it won't have shrunk, and where you have to put a second coat on. This leaves a nice smooth finish. I just went over it with a 220 sandpaper to flatten it out, and it's ready to paint. Okay, got a little dust in here from last night. So, and then I'm gonna use the Dixie Belle paintbrush. I used this last night, and with this dark green, look at how well it cleaned up. And I just use Dawn, I don't know if you're supposed to, but I use Dawn dishwashing liquid. I um, take hot water and I rub all the paint out of it while it's running under water. And then when I get it almost clean, just so I don't have any staining of my bristles, because um, like I said, I was using the dark green and you don't see any of the dark green on here. Um, I use the uh, foaming Dawn dishwashing liquid. I just put like two pumps of foam on it and then swirl it around in my hand, rinse it again, done. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and paint this. And I just, I love the container. Nice and wide so I can dip my brush in it. And granted, I'm wearing my good sweatshirt. I probably, but I just want to sneak out here real quick and paint. Put my sleeves up. <laughs> okay, so many of my clothes have paint on it. It doesn't really matter anymore. Okay. And you don't want to get your paint far up into your bristles, otherwise you're just wasting it because you'll never, when you're wiping the paint on, if your paint's way up in the bristles, you're not gonna be using that paint anyway. So don't dip your paintbrush very deep. Okay, I'll paint here where you can see. You'll see how quickly this covers. I like this paint too. I've been buying, you know, because I'm always in a hurry and I pick out a color at the last minute. I've been buying like Waverly from Walmart. And it's okay, I mean I liked it while I was using it. It, it does work well. But, I and I was using Annie Sloan. Annie Sloan's good but it's so thick that if you don't water it down, it doesn't, I mean my, I go through my containers so quickly. Um, this I don't have to water down. It is kind of thick but it goes on nice and smooth. The coverage. And there's some dust. Oops. But I'm not priming this piece. A lot of pieces I'll prime, especially if I'm using white. As a paint, I'll prime first, but I'm not priming this piece at all. And it just goes on so smooth. It's kind of like if you're used to buying the cheaper paints like I was, Art Mines, um, Home Decor, uh, I hate Martha Stewart's paints, um, but uh, that's a strong word, sorry. <laughs> and uh, But if you're used to buying the inexpensive paints from the craft stores, you don't know what you're missing until you try a good brand. And if I'm, I'm really gonna be getting some more colors in this brand. It's Dixie, uh, Dixie Bell Paint Company. It's a US-based company. And it, look, it just goes on so smooth. 
I should have started from the back and worked my way to the front so I don't get my sleeve in here, but I wanted you to be able to see the coverage. So I'm kind of doing the areas where you can see. And not much for brush strokes. I always put the first coat on thin. It's kind of like what they call a crumb coat. You put it on thin and it kind of acts like a primer. So it gives your second coat something to stick to. So I don't put my first coat on very thick. I'll put it on thin. And we, um, I will be flipping the table upside down to do the, the upper inside of this otherwise my wrist gets too tired. But I wanted just to show you how well this paint goes on. And this piece, I, I, already, I believe I already have it sold before I even listed it. I had someone come look at it today and they think it's the right size, they love the color, and they're gonna get back to me if the size is what's gonna fit in their area. So I might already have this sold before I even list it. And what I like about this paintbrush too is the handle's not super long. I have a bunch of them that I, other brushes that I love, the Zebra and the Klingon, I love them, but their, their handles are so long that I end up, if I'm in a small space, when I'm in here like this, the handle is hitting the other side and scratching it up. And I don't have any of those in the shorter brushes, but this is just the perfect length handle that it's not intrusive what I'm trying to paint. Okay. Getting into the grooves there. I did that yesterday. I love this color. Like I said, this color is called Collard Greens, and um, it's such a rich green. You know, green can be overpowering, you know. Green isn't for everyone, but I like this because it's kind of like a cross. This would match in, you know, anyone that's looking for a dark brown piece, a gray piece, um, a green piece. I mean, this color, is gonna match with pretty much everything. Because it's not a specifically a straight green. It's kind of like a mix of a green, it's like a dark army green, almost like an evergreen. But it's nice and neutral. So I'm absolutely loving this color. It's such a rich color. And they have like, I don't know, they, they have a ton of color selections. I would guess they have at least, I don't know, maybe 60 color selections. I was trying to pick out a color to, to do for this piece and then I saw that on their board and I was like, oh, I've got to try it. And I saw um, Brush by Brandy, if you haven't checked out her uh, Facebook page, she is actually, she did a really cool project using, um, I believe the collard green and she mixed it with, I think like mermaid tail or something mermaid um, and it, it was, I would never thought of putting those two colors together and it turned out to just be a gorgeous, rich, uh, more country green. Not so much the earth, this isn't more of an earthy green. I hope that makes sense to you. This is more earthy. She blended it with a, the mermaid and made it more country. But since you can't really see what I'm doing right now, I wanted you to see just how beautiful the coverage is. That's one coat. And I mean, I did the other coat and look at it, I haven't even touched hardly any in this container. And I don't know, this paint's going a long ways. It's, it, brush strokes are very minimal. It has a nice little, like, it's not like a completely flat matte chalk paint. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. And I think that's what I'm more impressed by is that slight little sheen that it gives the piece. I can't wait to finish this up. Well. As soon as I get it all painted up, I'll take some pictures. And um, But I wanted you to see just how well this Dixie Belle paint goes on. 
I mean, just, you can see the shimmer. Oopsie, see that shimmer? Right there at the end of my stick, you can see it. And it just has a slight shimmer when the light hits it. I, I just love it. Okay, well I'm gonna continue to paint and I might eat, put dark wax on that. If I, if, I do do, if I do dark wax, I'll come back on the next video and show you what dark wax looks like on it. And I'll also do a video on how I finish the top. But I wanted you just to see how well this paint goes on. And I'm excited to show you in the next video um, how this piece turns out with this collared greens from Dixie Bell. Okay, well this is Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.